Okay, folks, the first video I wanna upload about chapter nine really deals with the graph that's on the bottom of page 266. It's got what looks like stair steps up and then stair steps down. And that is a visual representation of the stages we go through in relationship development. And I don't want you to think about just romantic relationships. This can also be in friendships or family type relationships. So the first stage is initiation. That is where you are just the opening stages of all relationships. So it can be work relationships, friend relationships, or romantic ones. The second step up is experimenting. That's kind of small talk, getting to know one another. Uh, I don't date anymore, so I don't really know what you folks do, but I would guess that's more of the getting to know one another through Snapchat or texting. The third stage is intensifying. Just like the word makes it sound like, it's the next step. The relationship is growing a little bit stronger, uh, growing a little bit um, closer to one another. The fourth straight stage is called integration, where the, the relationship takes on its own identity. So you don't invite Michelle and Guest, you invite Michelle and Matt, because you just know that the two of them are together, they've been together for a while, they've sort of taken on their own identity. The fifth stage is called bonding. Sometimes in this stage, you'll do a symbolic gesture. You know, you'll have a, a wedding, you'll move in together. There'll be some type of symbolic uh, gesture in that relationship. Stage six is differentiation. It kind of looks like the plateau of a relationship, but it's important to know that this is not necessarily a bad thing. This is where at the beginning of a relationship when you wanna spend all your time together and you just wanna spend every waking moment, in stage six, you start to realize that you need to reestablish your own identity, right? I don't have to lose myself to be part of this, this group or this, this relationship. So differentiation is just a transition stage where you just, you know, you need to reconnect with some of your friends or reconnect with, with who you are. Now, number seven is circumscribing, which does start the downward uh, momentum. That is where they reduce the amount of time that they're spending together. So it could happen because of the differentiation stage where I remembered that I really liked myself when I hung out with my friends more, and so now we're doing a little circumscribing. Stage eight, uh, one that many of us are familiar with, is called stagnation. It sounds exactly like the word. Uh, it becomes kind of a shell of what the relationship was before. When I think of stagnant pond in my woods, it just sits there. It's not moving, it's not doing anything, it's kind of, um, you know, the same old, same old. So in marriages or relationships, this is, you know, pizza Monday, taco Tuesday, sometimes you schedule sex on Friday. Uh, very boring, very monotone, um, kind of a stagnant relationship. Uh, number nine is avoidance stage. Um, we all have talked about how we've avoided people in this class you know, in the past at the grocery store or places, but this is where you actively, you know, my, my boyfriend or my husband or my wife is sitting at home, so I'm just gonna work a few extra hours. I'm literally avoiding any interaction of this relationship. And then obviously the 10th and last step is termination. And while not all relationships terminate, um, some do. And it really, it really is the ending of this relationship, whether it be friend, whether it be romantic. Uh, there's a movie with Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston called The Breakup. And there are several scenes in that that I probably would have shown you had we been on campus where the relationship just goes through these stages and eventually does terminate. So, um, so those are the stages on that graph. I need you to know what those are. Several of those are part of our terms for chapter nine and will be on the module three exam.